Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Save, O Lord, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Grant thou unto Orthodox Christians victory over enemies, and by the power of thy cross do thou preserve thy commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Thou who wast lifted up willingly on the cross, bestow Thy mercies upon the new community named after Thee, O Christ God. Gladden with Thy power the Orthodox Christians, granting them victory over enemies. May they have as Thy help the weapon of peace, the invincible trophy. Both now and ever, and unto Thee, it is of ages. Amen. O awesome intercession that cannot be put to shame, O good one, disdain not our prayer. O all him Theotokos, establish the commonwealth of the Orthodox, save the Orthodox Christians, and grant unto them victory from heaven. For thou didst bring forth God, O thou only blessed one. And on earth, peace, good will among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, good will among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, good will among men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me. Many say unto my soul, There is no salvation for him in his God. But thou, O Lord, art my help and my glory and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all the without cause of mine enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath. For thine arrows are fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh, in the face of my wrath, and there is no peace in my bones, in the face of my sins. For my iniquities are risen higher than my head, as a heavy burden have they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down until the end. All the day long I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mockings, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength hath failed me, in the light of mine eyes even this is not with me. <coughs> my friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me, and stood, and my nearest of kin stood to pour off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evils for me spake vain things and craftinesses all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth nothing, and hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my <coughs> feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow is continually before me. 
For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live, and are made stronger than I, and they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slandered me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, be caught not from me, be attentive unto my help, O Lord, of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me, be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul hath thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee in the land barren, and untrodden, and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than life, so my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness let my soul be filled, and with lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed at the dawn, I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper, and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help thee. But as for these, in vain have they sought after my soul. They shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword. Portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God. Everyone shall be praised that sweareth by him. For the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper. In the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath leaped after thee. Thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. For filled with evils is my soul, and my life and the Hades have grown nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead. Like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. <coughs> they laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness and in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me, they have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth, mine eyes have grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long, and have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead wilt thou work wonders, so shall physicians raise them up, that they may give thanks unto thee. Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy, and of thy truth, and thy destruction. Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness, and thy righteousness in that land that is forgotten. But as for me, unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turnest thy face away from me? A poor man am I, and in troubles from my youth. Yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water, all the day long they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day of I cried and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion. Fulfilleth thy desire with good things, thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy and executeth judgment for all them that are wronged. 
He hath made his ways known unto Moses and to the sons of Israel the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wroth. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his sons, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man his days, so is the grass, as the flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom will live over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers, that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. <coughs> o Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He hath sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creations of thy hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirst is after thee like a waterless land. We clear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us praise the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy temple, and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God and herein, let us pray to the Lord. For our great Lord and Father, whose holiness patriarch for real, for our Lord the very most reverend Mitch Paul's remark, for our Lord the most reverend Bishop Nicholas, for the venerable priesthood that he acted in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. For our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commandite Sarah, and all his brethren in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. For this land and the Lord Jesus and our forests, 
Let us praise the Lord. For the God preserve Russian land, its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us praise the Lord. For this holy monastery, every city and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us praise the Lord. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us praise the Lord. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, for their salvation, let us praise the Lord. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, Son of a Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life to Christ our God. For unto thee is the world, glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the eighth tone, God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Lord is the void, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that calleth in the name of the Lord. So round me they compass me, and by the name of the Lord, is the Lord. Israel to them that are afraid of heart, but as for me, 
indeed my feet were all but shaken, my steps fell that I had slipped. For I was jealous of the transgressors when I beheld the feast of sinners. For they make no sign of refusal in the time of their death, and they have steadfastness in the time of their scourging. They are not in such toil as other men, nor with other men shall they be scourged. Wherefore their pride has utterly mastered them, they have wrapped themselves in their injustice and ungodliness. Their injustice shall go forth as out of badness, they have passed through their heart's intent. They have thought and spoken in wickedness, they have spoken of righteousness and arrogance. They have set their mouth against heaven and their tongue over within the earth. Therefore shall my people return hither, and full day shall be found in them. And they said, How doth God know, and is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the sinners, they prosper in this age, and obtain riches. And I said, Surely in vain have I kept justice in my heart, and washed my hands among the innocent. And I became a man scourged all the day long, and reproof was mine every morning. And I said, I shall speak thus, Lo, I should have broken covenant with the generation of thy sons. And I sought to understand that this was spoilsome in my sight until I come to the sanctuary of God and understand therein. Surely for their crafty dealings thou hast appointed evils for them, thou hast cast them down in their exaltation. How are they come into desolation in a moment? They have ceased to be, they have perished because of their iniquity. As a dream of one who awakened, O Lord, in thy city shalt thou bring their image to naught. For my heart was fired, my reins have been changed, and I was brought to naught. I became as a beast before thee, and I am ever with thee. Thou hast held me by my right hand, and by thy counsel thou hast guided me. And with glory hast thou taken me to thyself. For what have I in heaven and beside thee? What have I desired upon earth? My heart and my flesh have failed, O God, and my heart and God is my portion forever. For behold, they that remove themselves from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all that go according to me. But it is good for me to cleave unto God, to put my hope in the Lord, that I may declare all thy praises in the gates of the daughter of Zion. O God, why hast thou cast us off into the end? Why hast thy anger raged against the sheep of thy pasture? Remember thy congregation, which thou hast purchased from the beginning. Thou hast redeemed the rod of thine inheritance, this Mount Zion, wherein thou hast dwelt. Lift up thy hands against their pride, the end against the things which the enemy hath put to be done in thy holy place. And they that hate thee have boasted in the midst of thy feast. They set up their ensigns, yea, signs, though they do it not, as it were, for the departing on high. As in a forest of trees and taxes, they cut down the doors thereof together with two edged axe and mason's hammer, have they broken it down. With fire have they burned down thy sanctuary. They have profaned even unto the ground the habitation of thy name. They said in their heart, even the whole kindred of them together, come, let us abolish all the peace of God from the earth. Our signs have we not seen, there is no more any prophet, and he will know us no more. How long, O God, shall the enemy ever reproach, and shall the adversary provoke thy name to the end? Wherefore, turnest away thy hand, and thy right hand, that the midst of thy word forever. O God, is our king before the ages, he hath brought salvation in the midst of the earth. Thou hast established the sea by thy might, thou hast break the heads of the dragons in the water. Thou hast crushed the head of the dragon, thou gavest them as food to the Ethiopian peoples. Thou hast clothed in fountains and torrents, thou hast dried up the rivers of the land. Nine is the day, nine is the night, thou hast perfected the light and the sun. Thou hast made all the borders of the earth, summer and spring, and thou fashioned. Be mindful of this thy creation. The enemy hath reproached the Lord, and the mindless people hath revoked thy name. O deliver out of the beast, the soul which doth confess thee of the soul of thy paupers, be not forgetful unto the end. Look thou upon thy covenant for the dark voices of the earth that filled with the houses of iniquity. Let not the humble and shame man who turned away, the beggar and the poor man shall praise thy name. Arise, O God, judge thine own cause, remember the reproach made against thee by the mindless man all the day long. Forget not the voice of thy sufferings, the pride of them that he be ascended continually. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. You clothing the altar of life, hanging upon the cross, the thief said, If thou who art crucified with us, hast not been God incarnate, 
the sun would not have lost its brightness, and the earth would not have quaked with trembling. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Exalt ye the Lord our God, and worship the footstool of his feet, for it is holy. Thy cross is found to be a scale, weighing the two feet. For the one was brought down to Hades by the burden of his blasphemy, while the other was borne up out of transgressions to the knowledge of theology. O Christ God, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Beholding the Lamb, Shepherd and Deliverer, unjustly uplifted upon the cross, the ewe Lamb cried out, bitterly weeping, The world rejoiceth, receiving deliverance through thee. But my womb doth burn, as I behold the crucifixion thou endurest in the loving kindness of thy mercy, O all good God, O sinless Lord. Wherefore we cry out to her with faith, Show thou compassion to us, O Virgin, and grant remission of offenses unto those who worship his suffering. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Walk me through with my iniquity, walk me through my sin. I know my iniquity and my sin is unto for me. But I see only how I sin and I must see it in the morning. But the light is because of my life, I'm very sick of the other I try. But behold, I was deceived and I was deceived and I was deceived and I was deceived and I was deceived. Behold, thou hast not proved with me, seek with me with my deeds and thou hast done me now by telling me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with me, so that I have done with me. Thou shalt walk and I have done with my life and snow. Thou shalt make me to be a joy and gladness to come to the humble and the nation of the earth. For my face is great for my sin, and the last hour of my iniquities. I mean to make me not desire to be in my spirit with me. Thou shalt not awake to my presence and take me out of my spirit from me. You still have to me the joy of thy salvation, and the heavenly spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors that I may use me, and God will shut them out into thee. You have to make me more sure than the same God, and God of my salvation, and God will turn to us in my righteousness. O Lord, I shall talk of my lips in the mouth, that if I let rain, for if thou art to die, sacrifice I give it, for the Lord of our friends, I shall not be clean. The sacrifice of the God of the guilty is to be at the heart, for the devotion from the new pattern of the spine. We do the Lord, and I do pray, and the Lord of the walls of Jerusalem is guilty. Then shall I be pleased with the sacrifice of rights, and the Lord of 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 the Lord. Having traversed the depths of the Red Sea, which I shall not fear, Israel of old, they cursed them by the mountain, like in the wilderness, by Moses are stretched out in the form of the gods. O holy hierarch, for the Kirill, pity God for us, receiving light, giving grace from God, O Kirill, and revealed as a radiant beacon. Thou hast shown forth upon us the rays of the word by thy commemoration, that we make in thee as is me. O holy hierarch, Father Kirill, pray to God for us. As a keeper of the commandments of Christ, thou wast full of the effulgence of this spirit, O all wise Kirill, having been cleansed of the passions, and thou truly becamest a dwelling place of the all divine Trinity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As one full of zeal and boldness, O glorious Kirill, contending for the right faith, thou hast truly denounced the God-opposing blasphemies of ungodly heresies, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In giving birth to the Creator of all, who hath lifted us up, who have been laid low by the fall of our first Father, O most immaculate bride of God, thou hast healed the broken state of mankind. Thy church rejoiceth in thee, O Christ, crying aloud, Thou art thy strength, O Lord, my refuge and my consolation. We hear our Father Kirill, thank God for us. Strengthened in Christ, O Kirill, with steadfast mind, Thou didst destroy the wiles of the evil serpents like a spider's web. We hear our Father Kirill, thank God for us. Thou didst shake off the mire of the passions from thy soul, O Kirill, and cast down the uprising of every thought which exalteth itself against Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As a successful athlete, O Father, thou didst steadily turn away from every carnal pleasure as harmful and detrimental. 
both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With glory we all splendidly glorify thee as the only blessed one among women who became the habitation of God. Samson, but didst cast down all the alien doctrines of the heterodox, 
and has given might to the Orthodox, O Kirill. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, manifestly heading the divinely elect counsel, O Father, thou didst cast down the ungodliness <coughs> of Nestorius and his Christ-opposing audacity, O Father, breathing forth with zeal for the true Mother of God, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou didst bud forth the fruit of incorrupt understanding of Theotokos, being shown forth to the world as an ever-living mediator of incorruption to those who him thee with faith and love. I will sacrifice to thee with the voice of praise, O Lord, the church cry unto thee, cleanse the blood of the humans, by the blood which for mercy sake, Lord, on thy side. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, and mercy us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Only turn on our hands, our most holy, most pure, and most blessed, glorious, and be thy own to the ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves, one another, and all our life to Christ our God. Savior of our souls, and I speedily send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 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 Teacher of the Church, O Venerable Kirill, manifestly interpreting both covenants, 
for possessing my discourses as an anchor and a paternal inheritance in high hell. Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. We bless the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Thou teachest the ineffable union of the Word, the fashioner of all, who became incarnate for our sake, which is indivisible and unconfused, O Kirill, and is confined towards an individual will for each nature, crying, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Son and Word of God, who is wholly unapproachable in His essence, made His abode within thee, O pure and all pure one, and clothing himself in our essence, in that he is merciful. He appeared accessible in the flesh, and dwelt with us who cry aloud. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. We praise you, bless we worship the Lord. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. And the young lovers that fight here, the lovers that are true, the flower of the fire dying out, bless the Lord, all you worship the Lord. Look at those who close to Mother of the Light, let us magnify His song. My soul of magnify the Lord, and my spirit of rejoicing of my Savior. Christ and his divine mother, 
All the might of the ungodly Nestorius, the dual sonship and the mingling of the essences of the Akathali. O holy Hagar, Father, Kirin El, pray to God for us. With the power of understanding and the enlightenment of grace, O blessed one, thou didst theologize concerning the consubstantial trinity and the incarnate word of God, and showing thyself to be champion of the Theotokos, thou art now glorified in the highest Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O ever memorable Father, thou dost mercifully look down from on high upon us who hymn thee, granting victory over all heresies to our right believing hierarchs, and by thy supplications lifting up the horn of the Orthodox, and illumining those who magnify thy memory. O both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Except by many falls and the cruelty of misfortunes of all him one, I now offer thee a sacrifice of praise and earnestly cry out to thee, O holy Theotokos, help me, for I finish my hymnody by glorifying thee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even weakness of God under the curse of disobedience, but thou, O virgin Theotokos, ask the fourth blessing for the world to the offspring of thy child bearing. Wherefore we all magnify thee. It is truly me to bless thee that they are to adore. Ever blessed and most blameless and mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and we are compared more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us breath to God the word, that very day of the most eagerly magnified. Again and again, we praise the Lord. Lord, have mercy. All the sins of my God. Divine their kings with fetters and their nobles of medical divine. 
to do among them the judgment that is written in this story shall be to all the saints. Praise ye God in the saints, praise him in the firmament of his power, praise him for his mighty acts, praise him with the light of the world, praise him with greatness, praise him with the sound of trumpets, praise him with the psaltery and harp, praise him with kindle and dance, praise him with things and fruit, praise him with tuneful symbols, praise him with symbols of jubilation. Let every breath praise the Lord. We be glorious to the Lord our God, and we be the of glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and in the age of the ages. Amen. Glory to thee, who is the Lord for life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace be with the among men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless Thee, and I will praise Thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, Thou hast been our refuge in generation and generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against Thee. O Lord, unto Thee have I fled for refuge, teach me to do Thy will, for Thou art my God. For in Thee is the fountain of life, and Thy life shall be seen like. O continue Thy mercy unto them that know Thee. God save, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever, disdain not the work of thy hands. To thee is due praise, to thee is due a song, to thee glory is due. The Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon the remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the great judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady, the Pope of Son of our Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life into Christ our God. With our to God of mercy, compassion, and love for mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the age of ages. Thy people as from the depths of the sea. 
We were filled in the morning with thy mercy, O Lord, and we rejoiced and were glad. In all our days let us be glad, for the days were in that assemble us, for the years wherein we saw evils. And look upon thy servants and upon thy works. And to thou guide their sons aboard the garden of Eden, put forth in its midst the tree whose fruit was eaten. That thy church of Christ hath caused the cross to spring forth, pouring out life well upon the world. The one brought death upon Adam, who ate of its fruit. But the other gave life to the thief who was saved by faith. O Christ God, who by thy suffering didst break the snares laid for us by the enemy, show us to share in the salvation of the thief, and thou save us thy kingdom, O Lord. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and the works of our hands do the better right upon us. Ye the work of our hands do the guide aright, O invincible martyrs of Christ, having vanquished falsehood with the power of the cross, ye receive the grace of eternal life, and undaunted by the threats of the tyrants, ye rejoiced as ye were wounded with tortures. And your blood hath now become healing for our souls. Pray that our souls be saved. Glory in the sixth tone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Kirillo, our Father, thou heir of God, companion of Christ, servant of the Lord. Thy life was in accordance with thy name, for understanding shall forth in thy greatness. The splendor of thy countenance for witness to the innocence of thy soul, and thy untroubled discourse proclaim thy meekness. Thy life was glorious, and thy repose is with the saints. Pray thou in behalf of our soul. Both now the sovereign Theotokian in the same tone. Both now endeavor unto the ages of ages of men. The virgin one standing with the virginal disciple. Before the tree at the time of the crucifixion. Cried out weeping, woe is me. How is it that thou undergoest these sufferings, O Christ, since thou art the dispassion of all? It is good to give praise unto the Lord and began to give thy name, O Lord, I, to proclaim in the morning that mercy in thy faith by night. Holy God, holy mighty, you lean more to the mercy of us. Holy God, holy mighty, you lean more to the mercy of us. Holy God, holy mighty, you lean more to the mercy of us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but now and ever. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, God, out of our sins. O Master, God, not iniquity, is the Holy One, visit and heal our infirmity, and come in and say, Let a mercy, let a mercy, let a mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and the end of the day, and the end of the Our Father, who art in the heavens, how is thy name? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, thy will be done on earth. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, and our will be done on earth. Come to us, and God, as a sensation, to deliver us from the Lord. Amen. Instructor of orthodoxy, teacher of piety and purity, beacon of all the world, divinely inspired adornment of thy works. O all I spiritual, by thy doctrines thou hast enlightened all. O heart of the Spirit, entreat Christ God that our souls be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, from now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The fruit of thy womb, O all pure one, is the fulfillment of the prophets and the law, wherefore glorifying thee in knowledge. We pious 
for a thousand years in thine eyes, O Lord, what is yesterday that is past and as a watch in the night. Things of no account shall their years be in the morning like grass shall man pass away. In the morning shall he bloom and pass away, in the evening shall he fall and grow withered and dry. We have fainted away in thy wrath and in thy anger have we been troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our life span is in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are faded away, and in thy wrath have we fainted away. Our years have like the spiders gone out their tail. As for the days of our years and their span, maybe three score years and ten. And if we be in strength, may have four score years, and what is more than these is toil and travail. For mildness has come upon us, and we shall be chastened. Who knoweth the might of thy wrath, and out of fear of thee who can recount thy anger? So make thy right hand known to me and to them that are in their heart and instructed in wisdom. Return, O Lord, how all can be thou entreated concerning thy servants. We were filled in the morning with thy mercy, O Lord, and we rejoiced and were glad. In all our days, let us be glad, for the days wherein thou didst humble us, for the years wherein we saw evils. And look upon thy servants and upon thy works, and do thou guide their sons. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and the works of our hands do thou guide and write upon us, yea, the work of our hands do thou guide and write. Of mercy and judgment, when I sing unto thee, O Lord, I will chant and have understanding in a blameless path, one will thou come unto me. I have walked in the innocence of my heart in the midst of my house, I have no unlawful thing before mine eyes. The workers of transgressions I have hated. The crooked artifact we have done to me, as for the wicked man who turned from me, I knew him not. Him that privily talked against his neighbor, did I drive him away from me? With him whose eye was proud and his heart and say, she that did not eat. My eyes were upon the faithful of the land, they might sit with me, the man that walked in the way his path, he ministered unto me. The proud doer dwelt not in the midst of my house, the speaker of unjust things prospered not before my eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land, utterly to destroy out of the city of the Lord, all of them were iniquity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O instructor of orthodoxy, teacher of piety and purity, beacon of the, all the world, by divinely inspired adornment of firearms. O all wise thrill, by thy doctrines thou hast enlightened all. O heart of the Spirit, and treat Christ God that our souls be saved. O come and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. What shall we call thee, O thou that art full of grace, heaven, for thou hast gone forth the sun of righteousness, paradise, for thou hast blossomed forth the flower of immortality, virgin, for thou hast remained in corrupt, your mother, for thou hast held in thy holy embrace the Son, the God of all, for thou entreated to save our souls. My steps do thou direct according to thy saying, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusation of men, and I will keep thy commandments. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may hymn thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, water our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, is we be our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. The way of the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the age of the Vedas. Amen. Thou hast manifestly poured forth upon us an abyss of doctrine and theology from the wellsprings of the Savior, drowning heresies and saving thy flock unharmed by threefold waves of blessed thrill. For thou art shown to be a guide for all lands. O venerable one, revealing things divine. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. 
What a mercy, 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 the love of the righteous and has the mercy on sinners who call us all the salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life toward thy commandment. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, thy guardian, and guided by their array. We maintain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of an unapproachable glory, the blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. What a mercy, what a mercy, what a mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. And without corruption, gave us birth to God the Word, the very day of our host, to we magnify. In the Lord, Father, bless. God be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause the face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O grace the true light, to enlighten us, and sanctify us, every man that cometh into the world. Let the light of thy countenance be shine upon us, that in it we may see the unapproachable light, and guide us steps in the doing of thy commands. Lead us up to the most pure mother, and of all thy saints. Amen. <laughs>
but the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works, in every place of his dominion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Blessed art thou, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord in my life. I will chant unto my God for as long as I have my being. Trust ye not in princes and the sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. His spirit shall go forth, and he shall return unto his earth. In that day all his thoughts shall perish. Blessed is he of whom the God of Jacob is his hell, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who hath made heaven and the earth, the sea and all that is therein, who keepeth truth unto eternity, who executeth judgment for the wrong, who giveth food unto the hungry, the Lord looseth the fetter, the Lord maketh wise the blind, the Lord setteth the right the fallen, the Lord loveth the righteous, the Lord preserveth the proselytes. He shall adopt for his own the orphan and widow, and the way of sinners shall he destroy. The Lord shall be king unto eternity, thy God, O Zion, unto generation and generation, <coughs> both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O only begotten Son and Word of God, who art immortal, yet it's vain for our salvation to become incarnate of the holy Theotokos and never Virgin Mary, and without change didst become man, and was crucified, O Christ God, trampling down death by death. Thou who art one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. In thy kingdom remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. <coughs> Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. <coughs> Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you, and men shall revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice, and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in the heavens. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And to thy spirit, proclaim it on in the third tone. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath looked upon the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God, my Savior. And in the first tone, my mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. My mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. The reading is from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Romans. Brethren, the promise that he should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if they which are of the law be heirs, faith is made void, and the promise made of none effect. Because the law worketh wrath, for where no law is, there is no transgression. Therefore it is of faith that it might be by grace. To the end the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. 
As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. Before him will be believed even God, who quickeneth the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were, who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations. According to that which was spoken, so shall the seed be. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead when he was about ten hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able also to perform, and therefore it was imputed to him for righteousness. Now it was not written for his sake alone that it was imparted to him, but for us also to whom it shall be imputed if we believe on him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead, who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. Brethren, remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Be not carried about with divers and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats which not profited them that have been not occupied therein. We have an altar whereof they have no right to eat, which serve the tabernacle for the bodies of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin and burn without the camp. Wherefore Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. Let us go forth, therefore, unto him without the camp, bearing his reproach. For here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. But to do good and to communicate, forget not, for with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. And to thy spirit, wisdom, the Alleluia in the eighth tone. Hearken, O daughter, and see, and incline thine ear. Which among the people shall entreat thy countenance. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. And in the second tongue, the mouth of the righteous shall meditate wisdom, and his tongue shall speak of judgment. Alleluia, alleluia. According to St. Matthew, let us attend. <clears throat> the Lord said, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, <clears throat> I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. And the Lord said to his disciples, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law shall all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. 
But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord henceforth and forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. In the Lord shall my soul be praised. Let them be hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my tribulations. Come unto him and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord will encamp round about them that fear him, and will deliver them. O taste and see that the Lord is good, blessed is the man that hopeth in him. O fear the Lord, all ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Rich men have turned poor and gone hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. But me, children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there that desireth life, who loveth to see good days? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking God. Turn away from evil, and do good, seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are opened unto their supplication. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, utterly to destroy the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cried, and the Lord heard them, and he delivered them out of all their tribulations. The Lord is nigh to them that are of a contrite heart, and he will save the humble of spirit. Many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. The Lord keepeth all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and they that hate the righteous shall do wrong. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and none of them will do wrong that open him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Father, bless. May Christ our true God, to the intercessions of His most pure Mother, and to the power of the precious and life-giving cross, to the intercessions of the Holy Glorious, and all praised apostles of the Holy Great Martyr and Healer Pontelaman, of our Father among the saints, Kirill, Archbishop of Alexandria, of our Venerable Father, Kirill, Wonder Worker of Belisarius, of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, you are King and honor of all the saints, <coughs> and mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the lover of mankind. Theodora, Don Theodora, Richard, Clara, David, John, Thomas, 
Virginia, Anastasia, <coughs> James, Juliana, Kim, Luke, Harvey, Luke, Sarah, David, Anna, John, Ian, Eugene, Juliana, Edward, Aileen, John, Anthony, Peter, Salmonia, Rosa, Basil, Anya, Sarah, Luciana, Margaret, Leo, Alexander, Maria, David, Michael, Patrick, Melissa, Jihad, Carolyn, Helen, Herb, Leroy, Elkia, Lauren, Sandra, Larry, Haley, Bill, Jeffrey, Michael, Michael, Laura, Penny, James, Frank, Jocelyn, Linda, Sarah, Anna, Agatha, Jesse, Susie, Sandra, Tiffany, Marlene, Anna, Sharon, David, Michael, Will, Timothy, and all those here commemorated, and part of them for our kind-hearted, all transgressions, voluntary and involuntary. I quickly raise them up from the bed of sickness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy in Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Hearken unto us, O God, our Savior, the book of all the ends of the earth, and then that be far up at sea. And be merciful, be merciful, Mass, regarding our sins, and have mercy on us. For our merciful God art thou, and the lover of mankind. And unto thee we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the age of ages. Amen. To so the holy great martyr and healer from Suleiman, let us pray. O holy great martyr and healer from Suleiman, pray to God for us. O great favorite of Christ, most glorious healer, great martyr from Suleiman, whom spirit to stand before the throne of God in heaven. And delight us in the glory of his three hypostases, who remain us on earth and body, and thy holy visage depicted upon thine icons and the divine churches, and does pour forth diverse miracles to the grace given thee from on high. With the eye of thy mercy, watch over these people by me, for thine honor I come, and with compunction, asking, healing aid, and assistance of thee. Submit before the Lord our God thy fervent entreaties and ask remission of offenses for our souls. The Lord not daring to raise our eyes to the heights of heaven because of our transgressions. With contrite heart and a spirit of humility, we call upon thee, the merciful mediator, and intercessor before the master for us sinners. With us, receive of him the grace to heal infirmities and dispel the passions. <clears throat> Therefore, we beseech thee to stain us not, unworthy that we be, we pray to thee and ask thy name. Be thou our comforter and grief, the physician for them that suffer in grievous infirmities. A speedy protector for the endangered, the bestower of vision for those whose eyes are afflicted. The ready intercession to heal our babes and sucklings of their illnesses. Through thy mediation to thou obtain all things profitable for salvation. Have and acquire grace and mercy through thy prayers to the Lord God. We may glorify God, the source and the store of all blessings, who is glorified in the Holy Trinity, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, O most holy Theos, O most save us. Lord, our brother and the cherubim, and be our compare more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the eternally magnified. Glory to you, O Christ God, our most glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, who now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Father bless. May Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his most pure mother, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the intercessions of the holy great martyr, and healer quant to layman of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for he is good and the lover of mankind.
and his love to us today, as we gaze on thy holy image and cry, Orthodox Christians of North America, preserve the Orthodox faith, for this faith is your firm foundation.